So the next question, uh, question four comes from Janelle and she um, asks as follows. I'm currently 59, semi-retired and I'm a sole corporate trustee, so director of the corporate trustee of my SMSF with a balance of around 850,000 in shares and cash. I have been receiving a reversionary pension since my husband died. I'm finding the paperwork required to maintain my SMSF a little overwhelming. I have been told when I turn 60 next year, August, I could cancel the reversionary pension, roll over a lump sum from the SMSF to an industry super fund or APRA, APRA regulated super fund, I think is what Janelle means there, then draw an allocated pension until my preservation age of 67 and wind up my SMSF. Sub subject to no rule changes between now and then, do you see a flaw with this plan? Okay, uh, thanks, Gary, and thanks, um, Janelle. Um, before I make any comments on this particular query, uh, I've got to say, Janelle, I think you're best off getting um, specific personal advice on this particular issue. It is quite the question you're asking here has a lot of personal information that could affect the outcomes. So the comments that I will make now are pretty much general in nature. What I want to do is go through a summary of the key issues I feel that you need to cover off uh, and probably by seeking um, some advice if you, if you think it's necessary. So please, what I suppose I'm saying is I can't give you specific advice, but I can take you through what I believe um, are the key issues. So First of all, check your SMSF trust deed and check the existing paperwork in place for the reversionary pension that you are in receipt of. You need to check both those documents, the trust deed and the pension paperwork, to see if there's any fund or any pension specific rules that need to be followed. Um, some, some estate planning uh, professionals, if, if they were involved in setting this up for you, um, they put in place specific rules that need to be adhered to. Um, some of the, the lawyers that I've worked with in the past for some clients have particular pension rules. For instance, you can't commute a pension until an event occurs. I, I'm not saying you have that. You just need to check the pension documents and trustee documents for any fund or pension specific rules that we have to follow. Second of all, um, you can stop, you can commute, so cease a reversionary pension. But once you do that, the entire balance of that pension needs to leave the superannuation environment. A, a reversionary pension is essentially a pension payable on the death of a member who was already in pension phase. So Garth, I'm taking your pension from my fund. When I set up that pension, I nominated my wife to be my reversionary beneficiary. So on my death, my pension continues to be paid to my nominated reversionary beneficiary, my spouse. Now, if my spouse decides she no longer wants that pension, remember, it's still a death benefit. So death benefits can't stay inside the accumulation account of my spouse, my dependent there. She can stop my pension so long as she either withdraws that amount out of super and puts it in her own name, or if she stops the pension, rolls it over to another fund where she immediately starts a new pension in the new fund. Okay, so I just want to be clear here. You are allowed, deed permitting and pension paperwork permitting, you are allowed to commute, stop a reversionary pension, so long as you either roll it over to another fund and start a new pension, or you take it out of the superannuation environment. Now, you've mentioned in your question that you're waiting to age 60 to do that. I'm not aware of any restriction for doing this prior to age 60. And, and look, why I, why I say that is I know you're saying you're currently 59 um, and you're 60 next year in August. Look, it may be that you get some advice around if you wanted to do it before age 60. You're not 
taking the money that is yours, it's a reversionary pension, it's a death benefit of your spouse, you are allowed access to those money. So age 60 may not necessarily be the issue uh, that, we're, that we're referring to here. The last point I make is in your in your question, you said you have a preservation age of 67. Um, you'll see on the right there that the, the maximum preservation age is actually age 60. So you can't have a preservation age of 67. That might be what could be causing you some confusion. Okay. Uh, and if yeah, that is that is the case, remember that, yeah, you can do things that you're looking to do uh, and you can maybe even do it sooner than you expect. Just go off and get some advice around the pros and cons of that uh, and whether there's anything within your existing fund that may restrict it. Jenna, I hope that helps. Um, that question that you sent through uh, is quite specific to your position, uh, but hopefully that does give you some idea on what you can and can't do. Um, when it comes to the last point, which is then winding up your self-managed fund, that can be um, a little bit daunting. I always recommend the involvement of a professional when doing that. Have a look at our guides, how to, to wind up an SMSF. And the second article, a little bit older, but still relevant, had enough of your SMSF, what are your options? That might give you some more detail uh, around the wind-up process. General, I hope that helps with your question.